All right, so this is for all my violas playing Matthew's March. Um, you can see that now we're talking about key signatures and in the definition in the essential elements is that a key signature tells us what notes to play with sharps and flats throughout the entire piece. This is going to become extremely important for every piece that you play here on out. Sometimes you'll see more sharps. Sometimes you'll see no sharps. Sometimes you'll see the flat symbol, which is the one that looks like a little B. And other times you might not, right? So it's important that you always check your key signature. It will always come before your time signature and after your clef. So in between your clef and your time signature will sit your key signature, okay? You'll always hear conductors and teachers saying, check the key, check the key, check the key, right? Because we wanna make sure you're playing the right notes, all right? That dictates things like C sharp versus C natural, F sharp versus F natural, notes that we'll learn, variations of notes that we'll learn to come in um, essential elements. But for now, it doesn't mean it entirely much to you, okay? All your notes are gonna be the same. It's just something to look out for. It's a new set of vocab, okay? So in this case, we're starting on the A string for our Matthews March, and you can see most of this, in fact, the entire first line is all on the A string. Okay. The second line is primarily on D string, and you can see they even have the tunnel, uh, the little bracket there to make sure that you're keeping three fingers down as you're going to open A. Okay. So if I were to just review that second line, the second line of Matthew's March starts three on D, but I need to make sure that my fingers are curved around enough by bringing my elbow in towards me so that I could even play A while my three fingers are down. Any like slight um, touch of the A string while your fingers are down on D, you'll get you'll get some sort of sound like that on your A. So if that happens, to correct that, you really need to curve your fingers more towards G string so that you get a solid open A, all right? So if I were to play that second line, I'm starting on G, going to A, back to G, then F, G, F, then E, open A. So again, if you don't hear a clear open A, you have to check your tunnel Make sure that your fingers are curved around enough that nothing is touching A, all right? But starting with the top line, we're starting three fingers down on A, and of course, you know you can shadow bow. You can say the notes with me. So we're starting on that high D. So we have D, D, C, C, D, D, open A. Back to D, D, C, C, D, B, A. This might be a spot where it's easiest to say letter, um, sorry, finger numbers. So three, three, two, two, three, three, zero, back to three, 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 two, two, three, one, zero. And that's why I say it might be easiest to use finger numbers is because then you can actually find those jumps associated with the, the fingers you have to take away. All right. And of course, we did the second line. But in case you want to sh uh, shadow bow that with me, that's chi, chi. A, G, keeping your fingers down, you go to F, 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 G, F, and E, E, A, E, D, D, D. So if I were to play all of Matthew's March, it would sound like this, starting three fingers on A, high D. is rounded here okay again you don't want to have it collapsing on the string otherwise right if your wrist is touching the viola and your thumb is back that's going to only make it so that way you can't play a tunnel so you want to make sure your wrist is back your thumb is forward and your fingers are curved okay and you should have no problems if um if you fix your hand like that okay all right good luck